you to trust me. Oh, sh ah, Geronimo! Woo! I know when your birthday is. <laughs> That's actually pretty close. That's actually pretty That's close. really creepy. I'm, I'm going home. Mom, can, <laughs> mom, mom, this no. amusement park's weird. I want to go home. <laughs> oh no. Uh, just for posterity. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna see what's up with this. There I is nothing seen more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. Hi, Huggy. It's a spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. We owe everything to these children. This company and its toys are not. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> that is why it is with the symbolism of her being playtime calls and half. play camp. Our very own on-site orphanage. A child should never be left unloved. Never without a hand to hold when they see a monster in that closet. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and what smiles to every child who enters I don't know. these doors. A gas mask? That's what hell sounds like. You mentioned play care. That was where you ended up. That was up. where we ended up in the end yeah. of the last. Mm. Yeah. So. I don't know. Again, that, that trailer's very, very, like, again, the sounds of the kids. So did screaming. you find out if they had confirmed how many chapters they're planning? I don't know. Well, again, given the amount of lore that they have in this, if they ended at three, I think they'll be selling themselves short. I think so, too. Because I, I've heard... Unless three the grapevine, is, like, exponentially longer than the first two combined. Well, I've heard through the grapevine that they were aiming for five. That was what I had heard several people say, you know, people who, like, are in the indie game uh, hustle and, they and you know, they've talked to people. But again... I just worry since I, they had to fund the second chapter with NFTs, like... Well, again, you have to think... That they're going to be able they, to do everything they're wanting to do. You have to think, know? was that for monetary purposes for the development of the game? Or was that someone at the head of the company who's like the money person who's just like, you know, we got a real quick way to make money real quick. And I I don't know. Again, I don't know. there's like the support that they've been getting. I I think in terms of like merchandise and everything. Well, I just worry is, about the current reviews of chapter two because steam reviews can have a big effect on a game. They can. I yes. think one of their best moves right now, actually, would be to be in talks with Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo. They need to bring this shit to consoles. I would say that too. Because more platforms consoles will money. circumvent the negative reviews that they've gotten on Steam. Because not saying anything against console players, but there's not a review system on consoles on digital game sales that keeps a lot of console players from buying stuff well it's transparency again is like, like people like on steam like, like look consoles. at the reviews and they're just like there's a moral reason for me to not support this company and a lot well, of people don't want to but i mean well i don't think their bad decision with how they monetize chapter two makes this a non-quality game that deserves to be but what were you overlooked saying, by everyone can we listen to the audio just one more time just so to... sure Care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to every child who enters these doors. Screams. I was maybe like further, further towards the beginning. Sorry. There is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. We owe everything to these children. This Play company and its toys are nothing the without them. From the grooves. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Call, I am Pause honest. right there. Playcare. Huh? Our very own online orphanage. It's already bad. It's an orphanage. There's an orphanage. I wanted to know what the third thing laying on the ground was. What is no, that? that? Oh, that's Bronze Head. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Bronze Head. Play Care, our very own on-site orphanage. A child should never be left unloved. 
never without a hand to hold when they see a monster in their closet. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to every child who enters these doors. So you mentioned there's an on-site orphanage and then there's also the play care. So well, well, we had the, the well, we saw the play area in chapter two, and uh, I think we I think that's effectively what it was was a, a play area for the orphans that were there. Okay, but. Small toys. Yeah. Small children. Mm -hmm. Orphans. Yes. Orphans. They that don't have any loved ones. Family that won't miss. miss. Them. Yeah. Yeah. So that explains a lot of some the. Some of the. That could be what the wuggies were. And oh, either the that robots. Or the, uh, little and robots. Some of the other small. Yeah. The, some of the other small. Because we keep seeing oh, those man. littered all over the place. Oh, yeah. oh that's tens, so messed up. If so. Tens of hundreds. That's, really I mean, that's, that's really so messed terrible, up. If so. Yeah. That's dark as hell. Well, that's Poppy's playtime for to, you. I didn't know if you guys had caught that or not. Well, again, yeah. I, I figured, like, the orphanage idea, I, I, I could put that together and piece that together from some of the stuff that was done in Chapter 2. Mm -hmm. But again... I'm know, not really caught that orphans were involved so far. I didn't either. That's why I wanted to listen to it again, because I heard the play care, but then I thought you said something about something else and so i wanted to see what it was well all the children who come through the doors and again i don't know so if it's, it's like they're they're under the guise of like we want to put a smile on every child's face even the ones that don't have family when they're just like we can get orphans in here and then no one will miss them yeah, yeah. oh that's so fucked up it is mm. and also the gas mask i i wonder what that's gonna if that's gonna play into gameplay any like there's eh. gonna be sections of the game where you uh, you know, you have a limited time to figure out something and you just no, put on the gas mask or something. I think the gas mask is going to be... It, that's going to be the next main antagonist. Potentially. I don't know. Again, so many questions I have. But I guess we'll see all in due time. I think time. we're going to have some gas mask toy coming after us in Chapter 3, probably. So I was hoping that it would be experiment whatever number, but... Now that, like you said, five chapters, I'm thinking that probably won't come completely into play until the final chapter. We may get glimpses of it, like more. They may reveal more, well, like as we go along. We still got months. several months to go before 2023, and if they release another, like they'll probably release another trailer to hype it up again. I mean, and more. the way I would go if I were writing for a game like this too would be to not continually stick to the same formula for every chapter. Mm -hmm. I know that they've done, you know, obviously Huggy was their main antagonist for chapter one. Yes. And Mommy Longlegs was the main antagonist for chapter two. About chapter three is where I would start changing it up and being like, there will be a main antagonist, but there will also be... They did kind of do side antagonists with the games to an extent, but they need to change it up even more. Like, your main antagonist needs to be after you the whole time, but in between there need to be significant chunks where there's side antagonists also after you. And I think... Yes having at least one segment for a chapter where that new experiment thing is actually finally sort of showing itself to an extent, mm -hmm. not fully showing itself, but you know, it's like if they can hide it to an extent, if it kills you, you just see the hand come out and grab you by the throat or something, you know, but not maybe fully reveal it till the last chapter. But you know, I think yeah, it needs it to come into like play a bit heavier in the next in the following chapters. That's how I would do it. But it almost I'm not seems there. like that thing is only interested in the other in the toys, though. Well, again, if it's way. if it's taking all the parts of the toys that it wants to complete itself, I don't know what that thing is because again, there's so going to be a final boss. <laughs> that's that's what I'm thinking because I mean, it, it could be that it's like it, it looks like it was probably a very skeletal kind of build yeah it's initially not yet. and it's obviously very intelligent and it could be that it's like grafting the parts from the other toys onto itself and so mm -hmm. you'll make me part of him and i think when we finally see it it'll be some kind of fucking horrifying amalgamation of huggy and mommy long legs and all the toys that we've seen so far you know that we've uh, managed to defeat yeah. yeah again i don't know but yeah 
just wanted to react to this before uh, you know got too late. But anyway, thanks again, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye.